you doing? What do you think that is? It's a lamp. Junior, it's a lamp and it's been there always. It's always, what? Junior, no, no, you're gonna hurt yourself. work week in my life vlog as a double small business owner I guess technically as you can see just got home I have not unpacked the car yet because I really need to go to the bathroom and I'm starving so we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna unpack the car but this morning Saturday I know we're starting on a Saturday not a Monday I'm a vendor at a farmer's market every Saturday morning except for one I think this month because we're doing something else in addition to being a vendor this particular Saturday it's not every Saturday because that would be so stressed but this Saturday in particular, I taught a pop-up pottery workshop. It was so fun. They made some little pinch pots and they turned out so cute. I cannot wait to show you them. Like I have to fire them and glaze them for them. That's my job. And then we'll come back to the farmer's market to pick them up. And that was successful. I sold a piece and a couple people took my business cards to set up some events, which will be really fun. But we're focusing on this week. Speaking of which, after I have gone to the bathroom, eaten and unpacked the car again, I have to do my accounting for the week. In fact, my accounting for the past two weeks. This is one of those fun parts about being self-employed is you have to do everything. I still have to keep track of everything and you know taxes <laughs> to put it simply taxes um, but we're gonna do the accounting and I don't know how much more work work I'm going to do today in particular it depends depends on my energy level later but we will be back in the studio I need to make everything start to dry out so we can fire the kiln our little artists work in there and I have to fill up the rest of the kiln with my own work so I will kind of see how much space is available and be like okay what do I need to make I knew I need to make more bases those have been selling like hotcakes and I have a couple of requests for those so I will definitely need to do that I also want to make more of those heart-shaped bowls. I think I want to make some black ones, some black hearts. But yeah, welcome to a work week in my life. It's a very unconventional work week and sometimes my hours are a little longer, but who, who is to blame for that? Myself. <laughs> Just me. I'm the problem. I won't be filming, but I also teach workout classes Monday and Thursday nights and Tuesday and Thursday mornings. I used to also teach Saturday morning, but now farmer's market. So I'll try to kind of update you on that. I feel like I haven't shared my work life very much on here in a while. Just tidbits here and there. So we're gonna we're gonna get into it. Okay. I will catch you later. set up the camera angle perfectly on the first track. Um, hello, it is Tuesday afternoon, basically evening at this point. It's almost five o'clock. It is so hot today. Normally I do my live stream at two o'clock, but I'm gonna be doing it at five because today was the day that Josie got her stitches out. Everything looks great. And we had to take Rusty in because he had a little like fainting spell last week. It wasn't a seizure. We've had dogs who've had seizures like their whole lives before so we know what they look like but he does have a heart murmur but i wanted to talk to you guys before i hopped on the live stream so sunday i did not do anything work related i try not to do anything work related sometimes i do end up maybe working on like a poster or something or email newsletter 
if I'm feeling creative and want to do that, but I try not to. I try to, to be as lazy as possible, which I almost always fail at. I mowed the lawn instead and clipped a bunch of bushes and my neighbor's trees that after the storm from last year have been leaning on my house for a year and they keep saying, we're gonna get it, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it. They, they have the worst follow through. It's never gonna get fixed. They don't even take care of their own yard. No problems, no qualms with not taking care of your yard, but when it starts to impose on my own and I can't get my lawnmower in and out without being bitten by spiders because I'm basically doing that Homer Simpson meme of just like <laughs> going into the bushes backwards every time. So I took care of those on Sunday and Monday night I had a personal training client and a class and this morning I had two classes back to back. And now we're here. I wanted to kind of show you some of the stuff I've been working on. I'm gonna show you what I made so far for my mom for her birthday, which is I think a week from today. Time is moving too quickly. <laughs> I can't believe that it's June already, but I definitely need to set this out to dry more. How do I hold this and not drop it? Ta! <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. This is actually two colors of clay that I wove together into a bowl and it turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's not fully dry. So I'm going to set it out somewhere where it can dry a little better. And I'm also going to fill up the kiln with what I have over on the shelves over there. In fact, I'm going to set this over here. Also, I folded my tank top in half to make it more like a crop top. It is so hot by the way. It's like 90 degrees. Anywho, I want to fill the kiln so I know just how much room I have left to your other things. I know I'm going to make some cylinders, just plain tall cylinders for my mom for uh, Lysol can storage because she's like, I don't like looking at Lysol cans, but I kind of need access to them 24-7. I was like, I got you. So I'll make those today. And I also need to extrude some bases. Hopefully this clay is not as, it's still kind of soft. This clay is having, it's just not solidifying and it's kind of driving me insane. But yeah, that's what's on the itinerary for the live stream today, the work in the studio. Once I'm done, I have editing to do. So so with that, and now there's a fly bothering me. Anywho, that's the update. If you don't watch the live streams, I do leave them up. I think they're public, so you can go back and watch them if you like to. They're fun to just kind of hang out and vibe. And let's hop to it. Studio time. I'm so tired. At least it's cool in the garage. It's not outside, but it's cool in here. Thank goodness, because if I'm sweating bullets while working in here, I might lose my mind. Just a little bit. You know, throw a little tantrum. Why not? Why not? So I made a couple little tri vases. One I'm gonna slip paint lavender and the other one this pansy color. I can't remember if this is like purpley or pinkish because someone wants a purple tri vase. And then I had a little extra so I made another little snail candle holder. And then over here I made a very simple plain cylinder. It's pretty tall. Here let's use this spray bottle so you can see the proportion in my hand. Although I have pretty big hands. So she's pretty massive. It's for my mom. Might end up having to make another one, but it's pretty good, but it's very wet. So I have to leave it here to dry slowly though. So I'm gonna cover the top so the top doesn't dry too fast. But yeah, put a fork in me. I'm done for Tuesday night. It's almost 7.30. I wanna go eat something. I don't know what, but hopefully tomorrow I can get all of this in the kiln. Hopefully it'll be dry enough so I can fire it because I would love to be able to glaze this stuff. Depending on the weather, work day is done. Hmm. ton of cottonwoods here. We're back in the studio. It is Wednesday. Um, I've got to paint to maybe this one. Not sure yet if I wanna paint this one. Might just leave her chocolate brown, you know? But I wanted to show you because today they started working on our foundation again. I know we thought it was done, but there's a tiny little bit that's still leaking. My door that I open, uh, so I have fresh air. By the way, it was like, again, a thousand degrees today, but then it thunderstormed and now it's so cool. It's so nice. But let's just, let's take a little road trip. <laughs> so here's my door. That's a nice little drop off all the way down there. That's basically to the end of the garage to over there. Beautiful. I just want to roll. So short day in the studio today. Uh, like I said, I just want to paint those little bases with some slip paint. And this is the one that I made yesterday. I like to leave like some uneven portions. I don't know why. Maybe because then it's not perfect and boring. Like it has a little personality to it. I need to smooth out the edges, but now it's actually solid enough that I can do that, which I'm happy about. 
but I'm gonna make another one of these. My mom wants another one that's like smaller so that they're like a little set. So I think I can do that. And I also wanna make one or two of the heart-shaped bowls. It kind of depends on the vibe. I kind of wanna keep one for myself to make like a citronella candle. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. It's just a, a short day in the studio, probably an hour. I'm gonna try to like move on hyperspeed, watch like a National Geographic documentary for some reason. I like to play those on 1.5 speed on YouTube. It's what works. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch you on the flip side when hopefully my work is done. It is Saturday morning and clearly I am not at the farmer's market. Before I get into that, first look at my new headband. I got it from Habibi Heritage and clearly I was gonna wear it to work this morning. But I went out to my car with my coffee in hand this morning, ready to go, and I had a flat tire. Like a completely and utterly flat tire. So I'm not there and looks like the whole tire is going to have to be replaced. This is the third flat tire I've gotten from just driving around the roads here in Michigan. <laughs> in this year, this is the third flat tire I've gotten this year, just driving around Michigan roads. Because it's not just the potholes, there's always just so much horrible debris on the road. And then they're also trying to claim that people have been deliberately putting debris on the road to cause flat tires, but I think they just don't want to take responsibility for the fact that all their little construction zones causing this. You can actually hear my tire leak. You can hear it leaking. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get yet another new tire. Thankfully, I think I'll be able to do an insurance claim. I don't know. But anywho, we're trying to remain positive. <laughs> So um, Thursday night, I ended up teaching my yoga class outside because it was an extra busy day at the dance studio. They kind of had like an emergency need for the room that I usually teach in. So I was like, okay, I'll teach outside because some of the photos from photo week last week didn't turn out. So they had to basically reshoot some photos. It was also audition day for the competition team. So it was really booked and it was really loud in there. So it was actually so nice to go outside and practice yoga. There was a beautiful breeze and sunshine. And then Friday, I coached my student, of course, I'm not gonna film children, that's weird. But it was an exciting day for her. We started choreographing and we finished choreographing her first ever solo. And she won't be skating it, skating it till like come Halloween, but we got it put together in like 10 minutes. Mind you, it's only around a minute long, but she's a basic skills level skater. She's, a, she's an itty bitty. Memorizing it will be the hard part, so we'll just keep drilling it and getting more speed and filling out the ice more, but she's doing really awesome. I'm really, really happy for her. As for today, now these were my plans anyway from when I got home from the farmer's market. I'm trying to grab them for today anyway. So we're just gonna be getting it done early. Part of being a skating coach, you have to do coaching requirements that we have to kind of renew every year. So I'm due to do that. I actually have like a little to-do list that's printed out. So I'm gonna work on this this morning. I have to like renew my membership with my club. I have to do certifications and credits and stuff like that. Basically it's, it's schoolwork. I have to do an online class today. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that and all of it has to be done by July 1st. So I wanted to get it done this first week of June anyway. Get it done sooner than later in case anything goes wrong. I'll have time to call them or email them and be like, hey, help me, I can't figure it out. But I think before I do this, because my coffee isn't quite in my system. I'm gonna work on updating my online shop a little bit with some of my new pottery. So I have photos and whatnot. I just have to upload them. So I'm gonna work on that, I think, for a little bit first. But yeah, that basically concludes my work week. Lots of hours go into everything, but I didn't wanna like film hours and hours and hours of me sitting and working, because that's kind of boring. And I can't film my workout classes because you gotta pay for those. <laughs> Although I have free workouts over on my YouTube channel. That's another thing. I don't really consider YouTube work because I don't get paid for this channel or my other channel. But I mean, a lot of work goes into it. So yeah, I think after these past couple weeks that's been so work focused, I think the next vlog is gonna be a self-care focused vlog because I have really fallen behind in that. I am not taking proper care of myself physically and mentally. So I need to take better care of myself because now it's affecting my mental health quite a bit. I cried watching a TikTok of a baboon drinking tea. That's where I am. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get right back to work and I will see ya when I see ya.